go, go. Before the sunset. Hey, you can hear them all. Hi, I'm Lavi. And I'm Ollie. And this is our hero, Bumblebee. Together, we are attempting a Guinness World Record to become the youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by, by motorcycle. motorcycle. Join us for season three here in South America. Cappuccinos in the morning. Thank you. It was um, not too good night, but <laughs> no. There's a lot of trucks. I mean, it is a petrol station, <laughs> so that's to be expected. <laughs> exactly. But for this morning, we have some nice coffee to wake us up. Actually, we're forced to have nice coffee because. We're at a petrol station, so we can't use our stove for fear of exploding the whole place. What's this big chocolate ball in mine? Look at that. It's up. Epic breakfast this morning. I have some boiled eggs, tomato, and of course, some cheese. <laughs> yes. Good morning world, welcome back to the channel. It's day number 238 on our circumnavigation around the globe by motorcycle. And we're here at a petrol station where we camped last night in just near the town of Colonel Pringles. <laughs> the Pringle town. And we had some Pringles. No, we didn't, but I would like to. <laughs> We made a massive distance south yesterday and today we're going to be continuing that journey south towards Patagonia. So let me show you guys where we're headed today. Awesome, so I've drawn now our line that we took through Brazil, Uruguay, our four days in Buenos Aires and our massive distance yesterday to reach where we are now in Colonel Pringles. And today we are gonna be continuing our way down here through, there's a town called Bahia Blanca here, city. And then making our way along this peninsula all the way to the very, very, very south, just past Viedma. So this place that we've seen on iOverlander looks really, really nice. Uh, it's like a little camp on the edge of a cliff where apparently there's uh, a colony of parrots or a whole load of parrots that you can see and apparently it's an amazing sunset over the ocean so that's going to be really really, really cool. exciting <laughs> and it's going to be quite different to where we camped last night so that's going to be cool we have about 250 miles which is about 400 kilometers today and it's already nine o'clock so better hit the road let's go with our helmet microphones down for the second day running, we have to look once again to an informative voiceover to fill us in. We had a slightly shorter distance than yesterday to cover, but ahead of us still lay many miles of flat, hot and windy Argentinian countryside known as the Pampas. So with the cruise control set to 60, we powered on through and let the miles roll by. As we made our way further south, it soon became clear that the wind would be our biggest challenge of the day. The wind turbines were loving it though. We're stopping for our first break, but we were really hoping to cover 
100 more than 100 miles before we stopped but we're just being slowed down so much by the wind and it's so windy at the moment hold on i'm just going to come down oh. so we've positioned the bike blocking the wind a little bit and we've just come off the highway we've got a bit of shade from these trees but it's like 33 degrees at the moment yeah i think our bike recorded even 35 degrees so it's really hot it's really windy no nice views no <laughs> pretty hectic yeah it's been pretty tough so far compared to yesterday it's just a completely different day yeah and uh we just passed by bahia blanca we just went on a ring road around oh. bahia blanca the city so now we've just joined the ruta 3 and the Ruta 3 is pretty much the same road that we'll be taking for a long, long, long way south into Patagonia. But hopefully it's not going to be this windy the whole way down. Fingers crossed. So apparently we still have around 160 miles to reach the town of Viedma. So yeah, it's not over yet. So we've decided that this place is just too windy. All of this dry dirt is just blowing up and into your eyes and it's basically just a horrible place to stop for a break we've had a look on the map there's a petrol station coming up in about a mile so i think we're going to go for the safety of the petrol station i thought we'd have some protection from the wind from the trees but it doesn't do anything insane all right we'll have our break here instead then i guess so we've been looking for a map for ages all across Buenos Aires looking in different shops bookshops and everywhere and I just asked in this petrol station here and he's like oh yeah we've got a map of all the roads in the whole of Argentina and then I was like that's absolutely awesome and then he said to us and you can have it for free it's a gift for you what look at this so kind it's like the whole of Argentina this is perfect so now I can show you guys the route properly it's awesome. We have to activate our air condition. <laughs> yeah, we did this in Morocco. <laughs> Wet the t-shirts for a nice cool ride. That's fully saturated. Oh, it's cold. Woo. Woo. Oh. <laughs> Woo. It's nice, eh? Oh. Painfully cold. <laughs> Whew. Yeah. Wow, that'll be nice for a bit. We were just about to leave, and this guy comes up and just gives us some alfajores. <laughs> yes. This is like a traditional Argentinian cake, shortbread cake. This guy here gave us them. Gracias. 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 Muchas gracias. Ahí. Refreshed and fueled up on Alfa Jores, we hit the road with a second wind. No pun intended. Another £1.50 down, but um, I'm feeling pretty tired today after last night's sleep. It was not too great. And this crazy wind and everything, so yeah, coffee's good, coffee's good. We still have 96 miles to go as well, so. Finally, after nine hours on the road, we pulled into the small town of Balneiro El Condor, our rest stop for the night, and the deputy mayor of the town was waiting for us at the entrance. Well, maybe he wasn't actually waiting for us, but he was there when we arrived at least. 
He welcomed us to the town and told us that the parrot colony we were about to visit was actually the largest colony in the world with more than 37,000 breeding pairs. The pairs are monogamous and stay together for life, but the population is under threat as their food source is disappearing more quickly than the Amazon rainforest. An incredibly unique and special place. We couldn't wait to see it with our own eyes. We made it! Happy and alive! Whee! A little bit in rush. Yeah, we're here in this town, Balneiro El Condor is the name. We just put up all the tent, uh, we got the camping area set up, we covered Bumblebee, but we had to do everything super fast. Super, super, super fast. <laughs> <laughs> because we need to get down to the beach. Yes. For this spectacle which is about to happen, which is the returning of the largest colony of parrots in the world to their nests on the cliffs just next to the beach. It's pretty much the reason that we wanted to come here to begin with. And we spoke to the mayor of this town, which is crazy. He's the one who told us that this is actually the largest colony of parrots in the world, which is absolutely insane. And he said that this town is just filled with parrots, like it's just the parrot town. Yeah, exactly. You can see them everywhere. You can hear them everywhere. Really special birds. Yeah, it was a really long day right at the end. 250 miles, about 400 kilometers. So pretty tough. Yeah, we've done like wow. 600 miles in two days. That's insane. Wow, we've really smashed some distance south, <laughs> which we needed to do yes. to get back on schedule. So. Go, go, go. <laughs> Before the sunset. Hey, you can hear them all. <laughs> nice. I can see them. Whoa. Look up here. Can you hear that? Wow. That's crazy. They're so loud. Hello, guys. There's like hundreds of them along the cliffs here. Yeah, they've all found like a little hole in the cliff and they're all flying in to nest. Wow. The mayor of this town told us that they nest along 30 kilometers of this coast. Wow. That's just magical. Yes. What a place, eh? And look, we can see all the eggshells here. Nice. Our little babies. Cool. This is our nice cooked dinner. It's a gnocchis with broccoli and tomato sauce. Dinner with a view. Successful day. And that's it from us today. We hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family, comment below, and we will see you next time. 